Hey guys, we got us a mobile home and they want us to check it out make sure the air conditioner is running before somebody moves in. Stay tuned. Any smoke of arms? Cool. And nothing's running. All right, let's find breakers, turn everything on. <laughs> Wait a minute, here's the breakers. All right, that looks a little bit complicated, but let me see if I can 10 and 12. All right, that's going to be for the condenser. That looks turned off. Nine and eleven. This one looks familiar to me, but I'm not sure I've been on this one. All right, let's check it outside. Let's see what's around the corner. These leaves make me think it hadn't run in just a little bit. I see ants crawling all over it. So I'm suspecting that's what our problem is. Tell you what my meter is reading. I can hear it buzzing. 27 volts. 240 volts. Nothing. We got most likely ants in the contractor. Nothing, nothing. Let's go get a contact. All right, on this one, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity to show you how to wire a contactor. This is straight cool, so we're not worried about a um, defrost control board. Let me discharge this real quick. Alright, so I'm just going to take all the wires off I gotta be careful with my yellow wire because I can call, I can burn up a transformer
and then we're going to wire it back up. Get all my tools out here. All right, this is my hot wire, or at least we think it is. Let me check real quick. I'm not sure I have a grounded common. So I'm getting half my voltage on common. So I'm taping it up to all right, those are my low voltage wires. Let's disconnect power. And over here, without really rhyme or reason, oh my word. Did y'all see that? That's one of my compressor wires. It was just barely on there. I'm just gonna take them all off. That compressor wire was loose too. Now I'm gonna explain how to wire this up. Using one simple thing, and those of you who have watched my videos, know that I have preached on it before and that's the capacitor is always between start and run and with these two single phase motors we have a common start and run and we should know the start comes from the capacitor so the other side of the capacitor is run that's always the case So you never have to worry about which side is run on your and which side is common on your contactor if you if you're wiring from scratch like this you just identify which one you want to be common and which one you want to be run and you wire it up accordingly the same thing goes with heat strips when you're wiring up heat strips and the blower motor and you got a sequencer that brings on the heat strips and the blower motor you just have to identify which one is common break common on your blower relay and then use break your common on your sequencers and that way you don't need but one wire for your blower motor that goes to your blower relay on your heat strips. All right, right now we're just wiring up power. All right, keep low voltage out of the way. All right, this wire right here goes to my capacitor. And like I said, the capacitor is always between start and run. So these two are start. This is going to identify run. So I'm going to put it on the right side over here. So now this side of my contactor is run. It's going to stay run the rest of the time. And this side is going to be common. So red on these is your run winding. 
and like in most cases black is common. So both of these motors have to have a common start and run for your condenser fan motor. This, this wire right here is run. It comes from right here. It could be hooked up to the same spot, but it's hooked up on the capacitor. So that wire is run. This is start. And this one is common. So I'm going to hook common up over here. Hold on, that felt a little bit loose. Now this is the one that was really loose. This is common for my compressor. I got lugs on this. I may just use the lugs. In fact, why don't we do that? I don't have a whole lot of room here. That way we get a more secure connection. I buy the 40 amp contactors because they have these lugs on them like this. The 30 amps do not. <clears throat> Alright, so that one's wired up. And if you look, Kind of color coded black on one side orange and red on the other we have nothing on this side to hook up now just for our low voltage there we go but before we crank it up i think i'm gonna clean this one up a little bit <laughs> Looking for water access. There we go. pressure here. That, my friends, I think is what we'll call a brown widow. Yep, it's a brown widow. It's related to the black widow. If I can get it to turn over, you can see the hourglass on its bottom. Do y'all see that little red hourglass on it? Might be too close for you to focus. 
but that's a brown widow it's not a black widow it is less poisonous than a black widow guys y'all forgive me but i'm choosing not to stick my fingers down in that i've already seen one of those spiders All right, let's check pressures. Pressures on have pretty much evened out right about here. I just got to go in and check that filter, and I'll be done. Got us a new filter. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? Tomorrow, we're expecting the Hurricane Helene to make landfall. I may not be on the HVAC nights because that's about the time it's supposed to be getting a little bit crazy around my house. If you did enjoy the video, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.